On the internet I found a few topics about the germanium transistor and used as an audio preamplifier. So I want to make a series of videos in which I uh, will try to uh, demonstrate uh, germanium transistor audio uh, preamplifier circuits. At first I made this small circuit. It's here. Um, it's a completely standard circuit from a um, grounded emitter amplifier. And here I use a um, device in which I can put in different um, transistors. This is the uh, emitter resistor connected to a uh, collector, uh, to an electrolytic capacitor. And with this potentiometer I can set the working point from the uh, germanium transistor. There are a few properties from germanium transistors that we have to take in account. Their barrier voltage is low, approximately 0.3 volts. This can differ a little bit, but it's something to take in account. And um, we can compare this to a silicon transistor that has a barrier voltage from approximately 0.7 volts. So they are more sensitive in a certain sense to uh, signals uh, connected to the base. There's always a leak, current leak, between the collector and the emitter in a uh, germanium transistor. There's always a problem of noise with germanium transistors. Their temperature stability is low and that means that the transistor can drift and that means that it goes out of its working point when for instance the temperature gets higher than 20 degrees Celsius. They are often PNP so that uh, forces us to make a circuit in which we can uh, swap or flip the minus and the positive uh, connect connection. Um, here you see some uh, germanium transistors. These ones were salvaged from an old computer board, 1975 approximately. It's, typical, uh, it's a typical uh, germanium switch transistor. And this black one is a very old one. Uh, it's made with glass. It's varnished with uh, dark paint because the junction from a germanium transistor is sensitive to light. And you can also use it as a phototransistor. But it's a completely other um, issue. Here you see my uh, storage, storage from gem germanium transistors. All kinds. And here germanium power transistors. They all suffer in a certain sense from these problems, the low temperature stability and the noise. And to demonstrate it, I connected a, a germanium transistor here. It's a ASZ1017. And according to my book, my uh, data book, it's a PMP transistor, PMP power transistor. To my transistor tester that's here and I connected the emitter here and the collector and immediately we can see here that there is a leak current flowing from the collector to the emitter and this has to do with the low barrier voltage and also with the properties from the material from which this transistor is made and that's germanium and that means when we connect a normal um, it can mean, it not, not always means this, but it can mean that when we connect a normal transistor tester to a germanium transistor um, it isn't able to measure it uh, properly. Here you see the emitter connection, here the collector connection this is the base connection 
but we, we can already see that now a current flows. This is normally the amplification factor, but it also indicates the current that flows between the collector and the emitter. So the low barrier voltage inside the germanium transistor makes this meter to move. There's current leaking from the collector to the emitter, and that's what we see here. Now I connect the base. And you can see that this transistor amplifies, but in fact it needs a smaller test voltage to be tested properly. So here you see the leak current. This also happens with these uh, transistors that you can see here. I've tested them, them uh, also. They have a very high leak current but, current, but that does not mean that they cannot be used. They are very well usable, but it's something to take uh, in account when we uh, make circuits with germanium transistors.